guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I cannot wait to share all of these recipes with you guys. They all sound absolutely delicious. Breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat to boot. So if you wanna see what I have on the menu for this week's meal prep, then all you have to do is keep watching. breakfast this week I'm gonna be making sheet pan protein pancakes I'm really excited for these again these are all the rage over YouTube and I have never made them so I'm gonna share with you a recipe that I think is going to be absolutely delicious we are gonna make blueberry pancakes so let me show you what is in our pancake bake so first you're going to need some milk of your choice you could use almond milk cashew milk I'm gonna go ahead and use this non-fat fair life so that I can use it up You'll need some sugar-free syrup, protein powder of your choice. Of course, I'm going to be using the Devotion, and this is the Angel Food Cake. This, you guys know, is my very favorite protein powder ever. It is so good. It doesn't have any protein taste, no chalkiness, no weird texture. It is amazing, and it is only one smart point for an entire scoop of the protein powder. If you're interested in Devotion, I do have a link down in the description box. Click the link, enter my code here on the screen, and you'll get 10% off your order. You will not be sorry. I use this all the time, as you know. There is this one, which is the Angel Food Cake, and a chocolate version, which is brownie batter. So get you guys some Devotion, because it is delicious. So we're gonna be adding some of that to up our protein game in our pancakes. The pancake mix that I'm gonna use is the Birch Benders Protein Pancake Mix. It's actually less points than making your own mix out of flour and such. So really excited to use this, it's delicious. You'll also need some light butter, eggs, and whatever type of pancakes you wanna make. I'm gonna do blueberries since they're zero points. And then we are gonna pair our pancakes with some of this Sam's Choice Uncured Turkey Bacon. This is my favorite turkey bacon. It is a huge slice for one smart point. So we're just gonna add a couple slices to our meal prep container. So let's get started on our pancakes. The first thing we need to do for our pancakes is we are going to put two cups of our Birch Benders pancake mix or whatever pancake mix you're using. And then we're gonna add one scoop of our Devotion Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. And we're just gonna give it a nice mix. And this protein powder is really good, you guys. It is sweet. It has such good flavor. It dissolves really easy if you just wanna mix it with some milk or water. It really is a must have protein powder. It's delicious. So we're gonna get this nice and stirred together and then we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. After your dry ingredients are nice and combined, we're gonna go ahead and add in two eggs and one quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup. One and one quarter cup of our milk. And lastly, one quarter cup of melted, I can't believe it's not butter light. So we're gonna add all of that in, get this all nice and stirred together, and then we'll be ready to get it into our baking dish. This is a very quick and easy breakfast recipe. Perfect for family, hubbies, who doesn't love pancakes? So get everything nice and combined, and then we're ready to add it to our baking dish. Once your mix is nice and combined, we're gonna add it to a greased nine by 13 pan. Make sure your pan is thoroughly greased so that your pancake bake doesn't stick to the sides because it will fluff up in the cooking process. So go ahead and add all of that deliciousness to the bottom. Kind of spread that out as even as you can so that it, you have nice even pancake squares. And I like to kind of take it and tap it, get it as even as we can. And then the last step is we are going to add one cup of blueberries. We're just going to sprinkle those 
over the top of our pancake bake. And that's it, you guys. Super easy. This is going to go into the oven at 425 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes or just until your pancakes are cooked all the way through. It is going to depend on your, your type of oven that you have. Mine's a convection, so it cooks generally a little bit faster than a regular traditional oven. So get your blueberries on there and let's get this into the oven. While our pancake bake is in the oven, I'm going to get some bacon cooked up. Each day, I'm going to have two slices of the turkey bacon. I'm going to put it here between two paper towels. Generally, I would heat this in the microwave for two minutes, but I don't want to cook my bacon all the way because I'm going to be reheating this, and it makes it really hard and crispy. So I'm going to cook these two slices for about a minute in the microwave. They'll be about halfway cooked. I'll put them in my meal prep container that way, and when I warm up my pancake bake and my bacon, it'll continue continue and finish out the cooking process. So I'm going to get all my bacon ready to go for the week while my pancakes are in the oven. I just pulled our pancake bake out of the oven, you guys. This smells amazing. I can smell the sweetness of the protein powder. Super excited. So I'm going to cut this into six servings. So it's going to be a large serving and I'm going to pair it with that bacon and I'm going to show you guys my completed breakfast and give you the smart points. So here is our pancake bake. Look at this, you guys. This, I had a little taste, is so incredibly delicious. So this is one six. So it is quite a large serving. You'll see it here next in the meal prep container. But I wanted to show you how delicious this looks. So this is going to be the main portion of our breakfast. This is an extra slice. I think I'm going to have it for breakfast this morning. So let me show you our completed meal prep containers, and then I'll give you the smart points for the breakfast. So here's my completed breakfast meal prep. Look at how huge that serving is. It fills the entire large compartment of my meal prep container of the pancake bake. I have my two slices of partially cooked turkey bacon, and then I did put a couple of tablespoons of sugar-free syrup in a little container that I can just pour over the top of my pancake. I probably will spray a little of the non-stick, or I'm sorry, of the, I can't believe it's not butter, butter spray on there as well before I eat, and that would be zero points. So one sixth of the pancake bake is only five smart points. That's it, you guys. That is crazy. You can have this entire piece of pancake bake for five points. It is then two points for the two slices of turkey bacon, zero for the couple tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. And then I thought while I was having blueberries that I would have some extra blueberries for breakfast and then count that as one of my fruits for the day. So I did bag up five little baggies of the blueberries. So this entire breakfast is a total of seven smart points. Five for the pancakes and two for the turkey bacon. I cannot wait for breakfast this next week. For part of my lunches this week, I'm going to be making a five ingredient pesto pasta salad. This sounds so good. It is going to be a little bit high in points. We're just going to make a smaller serving so we can enjoy the foods that we love just in a smaller serving size. So I'm going to show you what is in our pasta and then we're going to put together our California turkey avocado wraps next. So for the pasta salad, you're going to need some pasta. I'm going to be using the fiber gourmet. This is the light rotini. You guys know I love the fiber gourmet pasta. It is only three smart points for two ounces. So it is half the smart points of regular pasta. You can't beat it. You can order the pasta directly off of the Nutrition website. There is a link down in the description box below. So get the fiber gourmet pasta. It is absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna do the light rotini. You're also going to need some roasted red peppers. Mine are in water, so they are zero points. Some fresh mozzarella. This is just a big ball of mozzarella. And then you're going to need some pesto sauce. I am doing the Barilla Pesto Rustic Basil. And lastly, some baby arugula. So let's get started on our pasta salad. So the first thing we're going to do is salt some water and we're going to get our pasta boiling. So my pasta is ready here to go. So we're going to get this water at a boil and we're going to go ahead and cook our pasta per the package instructions. While our pasta is cooking, we are going to chop up half of our block of mozzarella cheese. And then we are also going to drain and ch roughly chop our roasted red peppers. And we're just going to put them in a bowl here because we're going to combine everything into this bowl once the pasta is done cooking. So I've got my 
my mozzarella cheese and my roughly diced roasted red peppers in my large bowl here. I did go ahead and rinse my pasta in cold water so it's no longer warm. So we're gonna add that. Let's just kind of stir as we go. You wanna gently toss and gently stir up all of your ingredients here. And then to that, we are going to add our entire jar of pesto. Now this is where your points come in, is in the pesto. Pesto is high in points because it is in olive oil. So we're gonna add the entire jar. And then we're gonna add some handfuls of arugula and just kind of to your liking. So then we're gonna give this a nice big stir again to get everything combined. This recipe makes a total of 12 servings of the pasta salad. So I'm gonna weigh it out on my food scale. I'll show you guys how I do that to determine how much per serving of the pasta. Now, just keep in mind, it's not going to be a lot of food, again, because the pesto is so high in points. But I'm thinking by looking at my salad here, I still have some pesto left in my jar. I don't think I'm gonna use the whole jar. So that will help lower the points a little bit as well. So let me get this all nice and stirred together. Probably gonna add just a bit more arugula. And then I'll be back to show you the completed pasta. And then we'll make our wraps and we'll get the points for our entire lunch for the week. But this, you guys, looks absolutely delicious. With our pasta salad for lunches this week, I'm gonna be making a turkey avocado wrap. This is like a California wrap. Super excited about this. So what's in our wrap is you're going to need some turkey breast. So I have some of the Trader Joe's smoked, and then I also have the natural turkey breast from Oscar Mayer. Both of these breasts of turkey are zero point, so you'll need a zero point protein. You're also going to need some bacon, so I have some private selection center cut bacon. I'm just gonna cook this in the oven. I'll show you guys how I do that. Tomato and avocado. I'll show you the little contraption that I purchased to preserve my avocado. You're gonna need a wrap of your choice. I'm gonna use the Tomorrow's Premium White Carbwise Wrap. Some shredded lettuce or whatever lettuce you wanna use. And lastly, some Laughing Cow Cheese. So let's put together these California wraps. The first thing we need to do is cook our bacon. So I've lined a large baking sheet with some foil and I'm gonna put my bacon in the oven at 400 and it literally, you guys, it comes out crispy and perfect. And then we'll have our bacon ready to go and then we'll chop up some tomatoes and assemble our wraps. While our bacon's cooking, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to put together the components of my avocado California wraps before I eat them. We don't wanna make the wrap ahead of time, it'll just get soggy. So I'm gonna put my components together separately here in Ziploc bags, and then I'll show you a completed put together wrap as well. So I've got my diced tomato, my sliced tomatoes, my laughing cow, my shredded, lettuce, my avocado, and then this little contraption supposedly keeps your avocado fresh. So once I actually cut the avocado, it goes here in this contraption and into your refrigerator and supposedly it keeps it fresh. So we shall see. So I'm not gonna actually cut my avocados until I put together my wrap. And then again, the other half will just go here in the container. I have my five tomorrow's wraps and I have my turkey ready to go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bag up my tomato slices for each day and I'm gonna bag up my shredded lettuce for each day. our lunches in our meal prep container. I am going to use the large side here to house my tortilla, my lettuce, tomato, and my bacon. One small compartment here for my turkey and laughing cow, and the other small compartment here for my pasta salad. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take one of my wraps and I'm just gonna roll it up rather small and kind of put it up against the side. I'm going to add in my bag of shredded lettuce and my bag of tomato. And then I will put my couple slices of bacon here. In this side here, I'm going to put in my smoked turkey breast. Now we won't be adding our avocado directly to our meal prep container. We'll just slice it off as we need it and just weigh it out to make sure we have one smart point 
worth of avocado on each wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my four slices, which is one serving of the smoked turkey. And that's just gonna go here in this smaller compartment with a wedge of laughing cow cheese. And then my pasta salad will go here. So this is going to be kind of how our lunch is set up. So I'm gonna put the other four together, minus the bacon and minus the pasta salad, and then we'll measure out our pasta salad. So the best way to measure out a pasta salad is to set your scale to zero, add a bowl, again, set it to zero, and I have mine on. Then to your empty bowl, you're gonna add all of whatever it is that you're trying to measure. So I'm gonna put all of my pasta salad into this other bowl, and we'll take the total grams that it gives us, and you're going to divide that by the number of servings, and that's how you'll know how many grams per serving. So for example, we've got all of our pasta here in our bowl. Let's get every last bit of it. And my total grams are 1,103. So I'm gonna take 1,103 and divide it by 12, as that is the number of grams per serving for 1 12th of the recipe. It is 92 grams for 1 12th of the pasta salad. So I'm going to take my salad and I'm going to add it to my meal prep container until I have hit 92 grams. And that's how I know that I have 1 12th of my pasta salad. So it's very easy to take a large recipe and break it down to create a smaller recipe and know exactly how much you are having per serving. So there you go. That is 92 grams of my pasta salad. So that's actually a little bit more than I was expecting and that is 1 12th of the pasta salad. So I'm gonna fill the rest of my containers. We'll add our bacon and we'll go over the small smart points for the entire lunch. So here is our completed lunches for the week. So I'm gonna walk you through what we're having and give you all of the smart points. So I added my two slices of center cut bacon. On this side, again, is my wrap for one point, my tomatoes for zero, lettuce for zero, and bacon for one point. That particular center cut bacon, you can have two slices for one smart point. And then I have my zero point turkey and my one smart point wedge of laughing cow cheese. So this portion of my wrap is one for the wrap, one for the bacon, one for the cheese. And then you can see I have some avocado here. We're also going to add one smart point worth of avocado. So our California wrap will be a total of four smart points. One twelfth of the pasta salad, and this is not using the entire jar of pesto, but only using half of the jar of pesto, which in my opinion, it was plenty. It has fabulous flavor, is three smart points. And then I'm going to have some cherries as my second fruit of the day for zero. So it is four for the wrap, three for the pasta salad. So this entire lunch, a California wrap with a healthy fat of avocado and some bacon for fun and Pesto pasta salad is a total of seven smart points. So this is my seven smart point lunches for the week. So there is the inside of our wrap. This looks amazing. So that's our entire wrap. You can't beat it, you guys, for four points. You can't beat it. So this is the avocado California wrap. For a sweet treat this week, I'm gonna be making caramel pretzel devil's food cupcakes. I'm really excited about these, you guys. Let me show you what is in our cupcakes. So first you're going to need some Smucker's sugar-free caramel sauce. You'll need a box of the devil's food sugar-free cake mix, some water, eggs, and applesauce. And that is what we're going to use to create the actual cake recipe. And then of course, we're going to need some pretzels. So let's get started on our sweet treat. For our cupcakes, in my large bowl, I went ahead and added in my box of sugar-free cake mix. To that, I'm going to be adding in three eggs, one half of a cup of applesauce unsweetened, which is basically one of those little cups of unsweetened applesauce, and one and a quarter cups of water. And we're just going to give this a stir. We don't wanna over mix. We just wanna mix it until everything is combined. And then we'll get this into our muffin tin. Once your mix is all combined, go ahead and grab out your 
cupcake pan. I went ahead and lined it with my silicone cupcake liners. I love these. I got these off of Amazon. They were really inexpensive, six or seven dollars for the pack, and they're washable, reusable. Nothing sticks to them. I love them. They are linked down in my Amazon store below. I'm also going to be using my large scoop. I also purchased a three pack of different sizes of these scoops off of Amazon as well, and it is linked below. So I'm going to take my mix and I'm going to scoop it into my liner and I wanna make sure that I'm getting 12 muffins total. So I'm gonna start with one scoop. You can always go back and add more. You just can't take away. So I'm gonna start with one scoop in each of my muffin cups and then I'll go back if I have extra batter and add a little bit more. So let's get these filled and ready to go in to the oven. Oh, we have to add pretzels to them first. We don't wanna forget that, that's the whole point. So we're gonna get these into the cupcake liners and then we'll add our pretzels and get these into the oven. filling all 12 to the brim I still have this much cake batter left so you can always make some additional muffins I'm gonna still count them as the same points even though I do have probably two or three muffin extra worth of batter so I'm gonna do these 12 to each muffin I'm gonna add one pretzel stick and I'm just gonna kind of break it up and I'm gonna add it to the top of my cupcake so it's going to have that saltiness of a pretzel and it is not going to add any extra points because it is literally one pretzel stick i might do two actually let's check out two because again that's not going to add any points to the cupcake it's such a small amount yeah let's do two sticks per muffin Look at our cupcakes. These look delicious. So I kind of stuck the pretzel down in there pretty good just to make sure that it stays on the cupcake when it comes out of the oven. So we're going to put these in at 325 until a toothpick comes out clean. I just pulled our cupcakes out of the oven. You guys, we've got some big cupcakes. Look at these guys. I'm going to let these cool for just a few minutes and then we're going to transfer them to a plate where we, where we are going to top them with our caramel sauce. These look incredible. Look at our cupcakes. These look so good. Once your cupcakes are nice and cooled, I went ahead and removed them from the liner. It's literally so easy. They just slip right out of those silicone liners. We are going to drizzle over just a little bit of our sugar-free caramel sauce. Not a whole lot, not enough to add any points. We're literally just going to drizzle just a tiny, the tiniest little bit over each of our cupcakes and that's going to make that caramel pretzel cupcake. So I'll be back to show you our completed cupcakes and give you the smart points. All right, here are our salted caramel pretzel cupcakes. Look at these. These are huge. And the only thing you have to count smart points for is the mix. So these are three smart points a piece. The pretzels and caramel are zero. So this is a caramel pretzel delicious chocolate chip cupcake for only three smart points. Where else can you get a cupcake for three points? So here's what I'm gonna be taking for some snacks for the week. So first I'm gonna take some of my Oh Snap Dilly Bites. I love these. They come in these great pouches. There's no brine, so they're really easy, portable snack. Really excited about them. They are zero smart points. For my morning snack, of course, I'm gonna be having a Built Bar. So this week I'm gonna be taking cinnamon chocolate cream, the mint brownie delight, which, oh my gosh, you guys, is one of my favorite in the whole wide world Built Bars, the blueberry cheesecake, the orange chocolate cream, and then another cinnamon. So these Built Bars are only three smart points a piece. They have 110 calories and six grams of fiber, so they keep you nice and full. And three smart points is awesome because they taste like a candy bar. And just to let you know, both the Mint Brownie Delight and Mocha are now permanent flavors and will be part of the sample box. The lemon and the strawberry are being discontinued for a short time. We're not sure how long, but they plan on bringing them back at some point. So if you are big fans of the lemon and the strawberry, make sure you order right away. So to order Built Bar, you can click the link down in the description box. It'll take you directly to the site and automatically apply 
the 10% off and free shipping, or you can use my code here on the screen and put it in the discount box at checkout and you'll get the 10% off in free shipping. Don't forget you can use my code over and over again and feel free to share it with anybody who you think might be interested in the Built Bar. So love these, a staple, have to have them, have to have them. And then I decided to go ahead and have some cottage cheese. It's kind of been on my mind lately. I've been feeling some cottage cheese and I'm just gonna top it with one of these no sugar added peaches. I drained the juice and put the peaches on the cottage cheese and it is a zero point fruit. So all you have to count for is the cottage cheese and it is two smart points. So I'm gonna have this as a snack as well. So this is what I'm planning on snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing the three recipes that I shared with you today. Let me just tell you, everything is so good. I am extremely excited for my meals for this upcoming week. So if you're new to my channel, I do a meal prep every Monday. It is called Meal Prep Monday. I upload almost every single day of the week. I barely miss a day. So make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you're not missing a single one. I would love it if you would thumbs up this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's meal prep and which of these three recipes or which number of these three recipes, maybe it's all of them, that you cannot wait to try. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!